Hello everyone and good afternoon. I'm here in Hong Kong presenting to you in this new normal and if I may say the accelerated digital world. And as we are talking about homes, I'm here in my home in Hong Kong and it's no better place to be for this talk with you. I must also tell you that it's possible that I introduce you to my family on the screen here as this has been happening in quite a few meetings lately. Smart homes have been around for, for quite a while and we have been using digital technology in our homes to automate mostly lighting, heating, security or access control and it's mostly very gadget centric. But our lives have changed in the past years and in the more recent past. We see that the demand for energy in homes has grown significantly. I can share my own example with you that in the past three months, my electricity bills have actually doubled. And this is because me and my family, we are spending a lot more time at home than we used to be doing that. And I'm sure it's not only me, but a lot of us are impacted. Therefore, the need to start to make homes not only smart, but also sustainable, and the urgency of the same has increased with the current crisis. At Schneider Electric with these solutions, we are going to lead in this transformation. Sustainability today is a global priority and we all recognize that climate change trend cannot continue its current trajectory. We need to respect the global commitment to limit temperature rise by 1.5 degrees for the century. Now this is only doable if we all achieve the net zero emissions globally by 2050. In this context, did you know that homes will be the single largest consumer of electricity and the single largest contributor of carbon dioxide emissions up to 30%? So we have a very big part to play in the home sector in order to reach those targets. Let me explain to you how this is changing and why homes must evolve. We today see four major challenges that the homes are going to face. The first one is to prepare homes to become more sustainable to reduce their impact on the climate. We just talked about that. The second is around resilience, which is a challenge based on two components. First is safety. We tend to often forget that electrical faults can still happen today. And they happen more often than we think. Electrical fires alone have been costing homeowners 3.6 billion euros every year in that's just in Europe and US. Most of this damage could be avoided. The second part is linked to sustainability, which is the extreme effects of weather patterns like the bushfires, the wildfires and the storms in the US that we are seeing are increasing both in frequency and in intensity. And these are causing periodical power interruptions and the continuity of power supply becomes crucial, which is part of the resilience challenge that the homes are facing. The third challenge is a direct consequence of the increase in electricity consumption that we are going to see in our homes. As we use more gadgets and appliances, we are going to increase the consumption of electricity in the home. And the electricity bill is most likely to go up as well. Take heating and cooking for example. Both are becoming more and more electric. In UK, as an example, there is a commitment to switch to fuel, to electric heating by 2050 as part of the net zero targets. Every time we switch to heating and cooking from gas to electricity, we are increasing the electricity consumption by about 20 to 30 percent. And as we are switching more to the electrical car, which is becoming more and more popular, you will see the increase in electricity consumption by up to 40%. Significantly, the electricity consumption is going to go up in homes and it is expected to double by 2050. Thankfully, there are huge opportunities for efficiency in the way we consume electricity. Moving to the fourth challenge, as we are spending more time in homes, we are not just living here, we are playing here, we are studying here, we are working here. All this means that we need more and more personalized modular spaces in our home. Today, thanks to digitization, we can deliver that need for personalization and empower our consumers to be in control of their homes. At Schneider, 
We fully recognize these four challenges and we are excited to be sharing with you our solutions and innovations that will address these challenges. Electricity is a lifeline of our homes. It connects everything together. Now, electric powers digital and digital enables more electric. This helps us control and monitor every device, whether it is connected or non-connected. Digital makes that happen. Now, this interplay between electric and digital is our solution, and this, is, this solution is wiser. We are leaders in the electric world, and two out of five homes are already equipped with our products. Thanks to our wiser solution, we are now linking together the electric world and the digital world. We are able to link the supply side of energy, which is changing to multiple sources, whether it's your grid or your own solar generation on one side, and the consumption of energy inside your home, which is going beyond your heating, lighting, to electric vehicles, and we are able to put all of that in one system. It is through this solution, which goes from supply all the way to devices, we are able to address the four challenges of the homes of the future that we talked about. This is wiser. I am excited to share with you now some of the latest innovations that we have within our wiser offer. And the best place for that is the kitchen where I will tell you more. We are here in the kitchen and I'm going to share with you how with Wiser we are addressing the four challenges that we see coming. First, Wiser makes your home resilient. It adds a layer of extra active safety to bring peace of mind and ensures power is available and is reliable for you for the different things that you use in your home. In the same way that you use today a connected watch, it keeps an eye, that keeps an eye on your heart rate and other health indicators. Think of Wiser as a Fitbit for the home. It's an open platform that monitors the health of your home, like the grounding system, like the arc fault events, and, they, and it alerts you before any of these unforeseen events happen so that you can call your electrician before any harm is done. In resilience, continuity of service is very important and the second aspect. What if your TV suddenly cut while you are watching the match between Bayern Munich and PSG in the final of Champions Cup uh, a couple of weeks ago? When you are in France, that's something that could happen when you exceed your approved consumption at home. It could trip every time you are close to the limit of your consumption. Now, it is possible through this device, Acti9 Active, which will let you know when your limit is approaching so that you can continue to watch your soccer game and of course support your favorite team. Perfect example of how electric and digital are coming together. The second uh, aspect is Wiser is making your home personal. It adapts to your needs, comfort and habits so that it can support you at every moment of your life whether you're at home watching a movie, working, sleeping, or even when you're away on a holiday. Let's take the example where homes are regularly suffering from power interruptions, which is, which is quite common these days. Why is that ensuring that your home is well organized because it will tell you, for example, it's time to charge your battery, as well as how long the storage will last, depending on the devices that you're using in your home so that you know exactly how many hours do you have left and what can you change to improve the reliability. Second example, when you leave your home, Wiser sets your home in an away mode so that you don't have to worry about your, example, your heating. You can automatically set to reduce your consumption, you don't have to worry about lighting, and they will all be turned off, including the ones in your kid's home, which I think most of the time they forget. You don't have to worry about the shutters and blinds either. They will be closed as soon as you leave. Now you have a secure home and a home that is actually wasting zero energy while you're away. And also, when you're enjoying yourself on a holiday, if you wish to simulate your presence in the home so that you feel your home is more secure, Wiser lets you do that. The third element is Wiser is also making your homes more efficient. In an on-electric home, Wiser could help you save up to 50% on energy, 
which one of our studies in UK has shown without compromising on your comfort. Wiser is integrating the supply in energy together with your demand so that you can choose the cheapest tariff at a given moment. And this comes especially handy when dealing with some of the electric guzzlers that we have here, uh, but also like your electric vehicles and pool pumps, etc. I would like to present you a next innovation, which is an efficient temperature control system. What is unique about this is that you are able to control the temperature in room by room. If you're not in a particular room and the heating of that room is reduced, you could walk into an unoccupied room and the heating is restored. This is different from other devices that keep the entire home at the same temperature. This allows you to use your heating system much more efficiently and also saving a lot of energy in the process. Let's take another example. It's a windy autumn day and your kids have gone out to play in the garden and they have left the window open. The usual behavior of the thermostat would be to boost the heating in order to keep the temperature at the same level. But the wind is going to win this battle every time while you waste that energy trying to heat up the room. With Wiser, you would soon be able, with uh, a very simple open window detector, you can detect when the window is open and it will pause the heating and wait for the window to be closed again by sending a notification uh, to the user. All of this makes efficiency a very important pillar for Wiser. Finally, Wiser makes your start smart home sustainable. I'm very delighted to show you today our power tag sensor, which is the smallest wiser wireless energy sensor in the world. It's a plug and play solution that is perfect for both renovations and for new builds. It's fully compatible with Wiser and this tiny gadget allows you to monitor, to control your energy in your home and coming from any energy source. It is integrated inside your electrical panel and you can monitor your energy consumption in real time. It would help you predict your energy production from the solar panel and also help to monitor it. What's more, it will tell you how you can increase the mix of renewable in the total consumption so that you can maximize the use of solar panels that you've installed in, in your home. And in the near future, Wiser will give you also your carbon footprint, both in terms of electric consumption and in terms of carbon dioxide emissions uh, that, are happening, that, that you are contributing towards. So now you know Wiser better, and you know and you understand how with Wiser, Schneider is able to answer the four major challenges of homes, which is sustainability, resilience, efficiency, and personalization. Each of us can be a very strong contributor in our goal and journey to achieving our net zero targets, making sure that we limit it to 1.5 degrees. We have a capacity to contribute to make world a much more sustainable place and it starts right here in our homes. With Wiser, we have the power to transform our homes from smart to sustainable. Let's go on this journey and make it happen. Thank you for your time. Have a great rest of the event. Thank you.